Jason M. Fun. And a lot of you are pretty much pissed off at the fact that Adobe have now released the new 10.1 Flash um, Flash component, Flash Flash Player, sorry. Now, I recently upgraded to Adobe 10.1 and I realized when I was watching YouTube videos, I, I always watch YouTube videos in full screen, because, you know, might as well, sure. And I downloaded it two weeks ago. My Mac Safari has crashed at least nearly nine times in two weeks due to that fucking 10.1. And I've noticed a lot when I'm using Skype, um, Skype with my friends, it kind of crashes that as well because the video has to install a flash component to allow the, the video to go through it. So if you are using 10.1 and you're getting sick and tired of fucking crashes and after crash after crashes, now I think it's only Safari based, I don't think Mozilla Firefox suffers as well, but or Opera, but I'm pretty sure if it crashes on Safari, most likely it'll crash on Mozilla Firefox, even though Mozilla Firefox is more stable. It's still a browser, so most likely it will crash. So if you want to get back to the good old fashioned nine, nine is very, very stable. Here's are the things that you need to do. Now, first of all, you need to download these two packages right here, which is Adobe Flash Player in uh, Uninstaller. I'll put the link up in it. And the package nine, you can't see it, but is that's the Adobe, one sec, that's the Adobe Flash Player nine. So the first thing you want to do, just let me double check actually, one second. Flash player, one sec. Yeah, a newer player, so that's Adobe Flash Player number nine. So what you're gonna do is go into Adobe Flash Player uninstaller, open it, and you're gonna to wanna to kill all the flash in your computer. So uninstall it. Type in your password. Oh shit. And it'll it it'll uninstall all your flash. Now make sure you're not on Safari while this does, otherwise it'll you'll have to force quit. So it'll say it's removed all flash player from your system, press done. Then you want to go into the package, open it up, and welcome to well install flash player for all browsers. Now this is flash player nine. Okay. So install that. Yeah, install that. Pass it again. Shouldn't take that long now. <coughs> That's it. And then just go ahead and launch Safari. Now, believe it or not, YouTube actually uses Flash to play the videos. A lot of people on their iPhones don't realize that's QuickTime that are using on their iPhones. So, yeah, you do need Flash. So, let's just go into a new video here and see if this works. And, and right off the bat, I already noticed, like, for example, I'll type in just... Uh, let me see, Apple ad, let's look at just any random Apple advertisement, whatever, yeah, okay, whatever, uh, FaceTime feature, you can all, you can automatically see right now that it's playing, but I'd usually watch all my things in full screen, and every time I'd watch it in full screen, even the time it took for me to open up the full screen, it would kind of lag a bit, like, maybe for like a few seconds or so, but, you know, when you've got full Wi-Fi signal, it shouldn't be like that, but it wasn't the Wi-Fi that was killing, it was the flash. And you can see right now that's perfectly no lagging. Shut up, shut up. Okay, so that's basically it now. Now, for those of you that are using cameras a lot, like the website chatroulette.com, chatroulette.com, like, unless you're a full-time user of it, me, no, I've probably only went on it twice. Not a big fan of it. Well, as you can see, if you go to chatroulette.com, you'll need to install has made it that now he wants 10.1 flash. So, I don't know, if you want to use it, go ahead, install 10.1, but in installing 10.1, you will notice an increasing amount of difference, especially if you're on a Mac, there'll be a lot of laggy, it is so buggy, it's not even funny. But, if you want to stay decent, you're not into all that fucking, you know, watching flash what flash movies and uh, playing a lot of games like if you're on a mac you don't play that much games but if you're into just simple web surfing that you want that doesn't want to crash all the time then flash installer 9 is the best so anyway there are the two packages that you need to install i'll put them in the link right now and that's been it really leave a comment write a link if you know any other 
if you know any way around it, then go ahead for it. But any questions, leave a comment. This has been Jason on my phone. Thanks for watching.